Hi everybody, my name is Anastasia Dvorak, I'm your Calgary Lifestyle Guide. Welcome back. I'm a local real estate agent and a blogger, and today we're talking about renting in Calgary. How to rent an apartment, how to rent a house, how to do it quickly, easy, and stress-free, what to write in your application, how to write it, what not to write, and all the other little things you have to consider in order to be chosen to be the best applicant for the dream property of your choice. Let's get started. What are the top rental sites in Calgary that can help you find a rental? I will show you a list on the screen right now, but I'll give you my top three websites. The first one is my favorite. It's called rentfaster.ca. It is a wonderful website where a lot of people find great rentals. I highly recommend it. I love their system where you can filter different things. It helps me with my analysis when it comes to buying properties for clients. And I absolutely love how easy it is to use that website. So rentfaster.ca. Number two is Facebook Marketplace, but you need to have an active and appropriate Facebook profile. And number three is kijiji.ca rental section. So there's a room rental section and there's a property section. So definitely check all these websites out and see which one is your favorite one. The next topic we will discuss is getting familiar with rental rates in Calgary. This information that I'll be providing is of January 2023, okay? For the most updated rental rate in Calgary, you can click on the link in the description and you will be taken to rent faster and you can look at the recent statistics. Right now, as of January 2023, we're looking at the following. If you're looking for one bedroom apartment, we're looking at $1,300 to $1,500 per month. Two bedroom apartment is $1,700 per month to $1,950 per month. Townhouses, $1,750 per month to $2,000 per month. Houses with detached garages, $1,850 per month to $2,200 and more. And I've seen houses that are $3,000 per month, but I'm looking at the average. I'm looking at affordable houses you can afford. I mean, there are houses there that are very expensive. I'm just looking at kind of the most affordable level that is available right now. I'm not looking at the dirt cheap houses. I'm looking at this general affordable area okay and i'm also not looking at the most expensive houses on the market houses with attached garages 2200 per month to 2800 a month we've made it to the last topic and these are some tips on how to search for the rental property on rent faster and rent faster is my favorite rental portal but you know there are many other portals you can use there are links that i provided and you can see them on the screen, but let's just talk about Rent Faster. And I love Rent Faster because it has lots of filters. You can search for properties that are short term or long term, immediate availability or availability for a certain month, if they accept pets or they don't accept pets, and you can choose the type of property you want and how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. I think it's very, very useful. But there are a couple of tricks that I will show you. The first tip for you guys is that try not to limit too many listings. So. If you just focus on the price and the type of home you want and then see what shows up because if you start limiting oh i want like four bathrooms or three bathrooms or three bedrooms it's just going to limit a lot of listings because sometimes the input information is not accurate so i would just keep it very generic choose an apartment under 1750 or 2000 and here's everything that shows up and then you can specify what you want you want it furnished or not furnished it means there's furniture in there unfurnished there's no furniture do you have a cat or a dog and basically then you can narrow it down and you can figure out which property works for you so rent faster is also very cool because you can easily figure out if the utilities are included or not so here's an example for you right now on the screen and it shows here that there's a, a two-bedroom condo and it's 1900 dollars per month and the utilities included are heat electricity and water so that means that all the utilities are included. That means that your rent payment is gonna be $1,900 plus internet and rental insurance and nothing else. You don't have to pay for the utilities because the landlord is paying for them. That's wonderful. And then another apartment is two bedroom condo, 1950 per month. And utilities here are heat and water. And what does that mean? That means that you have to pay for the electricity because the electricity is not included here. And a lot of people, they do not notice those things. They just think, oh, this is great. 1950 but electricity and internet and rental insurance and that is why i recorded this very very long article and i'm done yes fabulous so this is why we're going through these things because i want you guys to know everything you need to know about this